Okay, YouTubers, um, installing BMW standard tools on this guy's laptop. No matter what you tell these brothers to update their laptop, random access memory, they still fucking don't do it. They call you another time and they go on their machine to log on and to look, and the machine is moving crappy and slow. This is what they have here. Four gigabytes of memory. This laptop is from 20 years ago, man. And the 64 bit operating system only read 3.86 gigabytes. And that is why the laptop is moving slow because most of the models, the memory, the memory models are maxed out to a 75, 80 percent when you're running a few programs. No matter you tell these fucking men to fucking upgrade their laptop, they don't fucking listen and do it. When they call you back a second time, it's fucking issues, you know. The dude is a white man to a so-called white man with have yellow flesh. White man with yellow flesh. Him, few people have invent computer and I know him can know say computer runs slow and have a little bit of resources in it. And I'll know to uh Pacha. All this. <clears throat> this is a all long time hard drive. This is not a solid state hard drive. Because if it was a solid state, we'd have said so. This is a long time old disk this drive him have. You tell him guys to operate the laptop, he's still a lag. Me not every motherfucker next time. Or, you know what I'm saying? They, they fucking. I just, you see what I mean? Look right here. 83.56% right here at physical usage. This is the amount of memory right now being reused. And if we run Easter D or Easter P, tell me what the fuck is going to be. It's going to be 100 and stuck. Physical usage of the memory is right now 82. Let's call it 83%. And if we lock this shit down right here. It just dropped by basically a 20% mark or 27%. All right, lock that down. In my ball VM we're running here. I mean, that's not using much memory. We have Easter open up. I will go up the top and look. Team races in 248 megabytes, 250. All this shit add up, all right? Right here, this is my MSI right here, and my physical usage here is 61.4%, and this is 32 gigabytes of memory, but it only reads 13.8, what, 13.7. Mine is, um, mine is 32 gigabytes of memory, and it reads 13.9, okay? So, this is what we get from these systems. When you buy an i7 7 generation, you think you'd have to get 32 GB being read out. Now you have to be like falling short now. 13.9 read out. So now I have to power buy the i7 9 gen so that it can read out 32 GB random access memory. Oh boy. Alright, I installed this bullshit too. So let me close this off right here. Let me see what NCS Expert has in the work folder. All right, I'm going to copy something from my work folder to that. These two files. Oh, yeah, yeah, fucking shit. It's because of, it's going on the, the fucking C drive, you know, it's going to block it, you know. They have to cut them like this and move them over here. Yeah, fuck you. All right, these these SG that that has to be okay. That has some in it. Let me see how much. Six hundred four one items. Dayton. E sixty. Got a coding file. All right, no big deal. Mm. Okay, these are the EC apps. This is a, uh, this this right here um, is working with Empire. We're gonna see if we can set the IP address here. All right, all right. This one go all the way to the bottom. We push it up to the top. All right, standard OBD. If we should launch, if we should launch, we'll just look for the icon here. Empire. If we should launch it, it will launch and come up on the screen. But there will be no connection. 
Come on, Edibu. There will be no connection. You see that? Battery is off and ignition is off. So what we're going to do here, go back in this list. Go in to the radar. We clip out that. And then we copy this IP address like this from here. And then we, um, we put right here. Whoa. Remote. And then um, we uh, go down here, then we replace that with the IP address that we just did copy it. Change this port to 6801. And then we save this right here. And then we can close this file. Then we can minimize this window altogether. I mean, it can go back, no big deal. Can go back to here. Um, Right now we can um, roughly, we're going to go back to this file, we're going to go to work folder, oh, we're going to open this file, alright that one is empty, and the man file also should be empty, alright cool, alright so we can minimize that or close it off, we're going to now reserve icon here, icon is free so we click on that and then click reserve here. And then it's, a, it's supposed to show now voltage, battery and ignition in black. And there it goes, rock and roll. Language barrier and blah 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 much. Okay, error. Read error memory. Okay, you show that error, the EGS, blah blah blah. And um, this EGM of 21 errors. And um, we have three errors here. And um, we have one error in the EGS, one in DC, and um, all right. So we have roughly um, five errors in the combi. All right, we're gonna clear error memory. I said, okay, this ECU does not respond. There's no sub function that supported here, blah, blah, blah. So many ECUs this car has. Shit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I, could, I know the reason why we have this right here. Um, I don't know. How should I print out shit? I don't know. I don't know. What's the bit number for this car? I really don't know. Yo, yeah, bro, what up? Hey, bro, how's yeah. it going, man? Cruise, man. What up, what up, what up? With the FSC, remember last week, uh, you forgot about me, man. The FSC for what? Map update? No, no, yeah, remember we did that. I remember I told you about the Bluetooth. Oh, Bluetooth has to be enabled. Right, right, right. And okay. uh, you forgot about me. That was Friday. Okay, no worries, bro. All right, the combo box. We have a combo no, box. No, I took care of it. I, I, I took care of it. I fixed it. Okay, all right. You know, I just want to let you know, you know, the, the issue. Okay. The problem was, yeah. you know, the problem was, um, you, just have, you have to close the loop. You know how I have the most uh, network thing when connected? Yeah. The icon, yeah. I had to unplug it and then put the loop, the, the, the little head piece that goes to make the connection of the loop. Yes, sir. And then when you plug in that, that head, then everything started with the Bluetooth. Yes, sir. Very good, very good. I like that. That's good news. Yeah. You know, um, the, one, the one thing, um, you know. Huh? Wait, you want you want to update the cast? No, it, it, it's the beat updated my my, my cast module. Why you do it? Why you update it for? I it was it was a while ago. It was like two months. I I updated everything and updated the cast module. And now I need to bring it back to the old one because this one is it has encrypted. 
Okay, I don't know how to do that, bro. I do not know. I cannot scale down the cast like that. I can't do it. I just can't scale it down like that. Uh, I don't want to take a risk by doing it that with Win KFT because it might get bricked and I might get fucked. So I don't want to interfere with that cast unit, bro. I mean, what's the issue with it? What's the real issue you have with it there? Oh, so what version? What ver what version of Easter P was on that cast first? Alright YouTubers, um Okay YouTubers, we have some V numbers here. Um we have some V numbers here that you know this one here say KS32154. This guy is doing an EGS on this guy look like but he doesn't tell me nothing here. You have 752901. Okay, so I really don't know if you wanted to update whatever but nevertheless i don't he doesn't tell me but from my c now uh he told me that he want win kft to work i know the reason why though because he put a use ejs in the car right here and this one is a 06 e60 and address 18 here the ejs you can see that the VIN number is different it is ks32154 while the others are cm50045 and so on all right so all right let us ready to rock and roll let us close this off and that uh, and uh, all right, we're gonna try to uh, run Win KPT. Let us run this. Let us um go comfort mode. We're gonna go to um the EJS here. We do not know which one exactly. Oh oh, the ECU family does not show up here because okay, we have to import assembly line data. All right, we have to go here, and we have to go here. Boom. We have to find where Easter P is at. And here's it right here. Go here to BMW folder. Go to service. Data, the ECU data. We're gonna find the E60. And this is the date and this is the assembly data. We're gonna update this. Let us go to um let us go here in the ECF folder in the NFS. That's gonna be deposit. That's gonna be loaded up. Let me copy these. All right, there they are loading up. No, I don't know. 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 I do People come die between the living, feel like them grown and grown and pretty. You know, they must be a drop of kill drop of that people across the pool now. Want some boom boom from the gala. Want to stop me with another gala. Ah, she bought you, you see. And then now I'm going to go. Yo, I'll be better so now. Me, I'll be better that time. I'm not worried now. I'm not worried now. I'm going to say, I'm a proud now. I'm a proud now. I'm a proud now. I'm a proud now. But I know you never have to have no now. So the girl them sexy and stay and all them and that that you have to breathe out and go down. You have to waste no time. You have to go out with the thing. You see what I say, man? Yeah. All right. So I import assembly line data for that brother, yeah. If don't tell me when blood cloud or, you know, you better have money to pay, man. All 
Ale foka. Hey, Warren, what up? Hey, uh, so I had, uh, what I ended up doing is I got a friend of mine who owns the car, and he wanted me to code out the, uh, the, uh, the active headlights. Yeah. So I put regular headlights in it. That's why I wanted to get the, the expert. Okay, you want to use Win, Win KPT to write headlight Mario? Okay. Uh, it's a used one, right? Um, no, what he's going to do, I need to code out in the, uh, the, in the headlight module, I need to code out the, the ACL, the active headlights. Oh, you want to code out active headlights? You want to, you want to remove it from the vehicle order? Yes. Yes. So you want NCS expert to do that, right? What's that? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why, I mean, I got a procedure how to do it, um, but I just uh, mainly needed to get the NC expert working. It wouldn't communicate with the ICOM. Okay, okay, well, well we connected the ICOM now and we, um, we lock it and, um, it's now we are, I'm, I thought they needed to, um, I need, I thought they need WinKFPT, so I'm just importing assembly line data for E60 and I thought, I saw there's a use EGS there on address 18. Uh, what was that? Uh, it kind of broke up on me there. Yeah, I saw you have a used EGS with a different VIN number. Oh, it does, huh? I don't know what they, they I don't know what they got going on there. Um, the biggest thing he was telling me he wanted to do was just code out the, um, the headlights. Oh, he wanted the headlights to go out. I'd have the headlights to code out. Well, oh, wow. Yeah. Why does he? Why? Why does he want? Why? Why? Why he doesn't want to fix that? I mean, that's not difficult. Well, I guess because by the time he buys a headlight with motors in it, everything he said he can buy an aftermarket. Uh, he can buy an aftermarket light uh, that has no ACL in it, and it just for next to nothing is what he says. Oh, okay. I think he's gonna change the lights to just a regular, a regular light he can aim. And he wanted to remove that where all his errors wouldn't show up. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I know. It's not the, not the right way of fixing it, but he's a buddy of mine. I was going to try to help him out with it. And then uh, when I tried to get NCS expert working, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't see the icon. Yeah. That's why I wanted to see if we could get that going, you know I mean, you know, and if it's something he's going to spend some time on, I mean, I'm willing to pay you to do it. Adaptive Ed Lights. All right, they want to, all right. I know what he's fucking yeah. having his fucking problem. Yeah, I got a vehicle order, uh, like a uh, platform, at, you know, where they had it written in there. Uh, where you, you can delete the, uh, I'll have to go back and look at it. I'm right. I'm out right now, but I'm, I'm headed back over there. You want me to call you when I get over there? Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. Yeah, I'll call you when I get back to the shop. All right, buddy. Cool. All, all right. Thank you, man. I'll call you in a little bit. All right, yeah. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. They're live. Fucking record in a way. On that shit, blood clot. Alright, YouTubers, when you're importing the dot PRG file from the ECU folder and ESTP, and you click yes, you have to just hold on the enter button until it all copied over and so on. And then we'll go back here, go to import, export, import, and we import P, A, B, D. These are the IPO files that will be found right here. SG that folder right there. So we go Control A, highlight, and then we click Open, and then we click one time on that. And we highlight it in black right there. Let's click over it. Hold on the Enter key on the keyboard, and it just keep doing it automatically, and then until it fully loaded up, and so on and so forth. All right, boom.
all right so we go to easter p all right let us find out there's a there's this directory that we gotta remove g dayton where is it come on this one it has an error right in one of these files right here so we gotta remove this we're gonna update it um but we gotta go here and we're gonna go to a folder come on the laptop is slow as shit man. I just like, like work with some of these guys, man. They don't hear what they tell them, bro. Just replace the fucking laptop with an MSI or some quick machine. They waste my motherfucking time, man. Shit. You go here in the GD in the folder, I you copy this. We can remove that. And uh, we can paste this one here. We can look at uh, where it's at, GGG. It'd be somewhere here, and we can we can up to the G Dayton. We call it that. It was uppercase, so we'll leave it at that. All right, this one here. It has this file that of all the um the thing that we know that it have right here. Uh, because you know, truly comes with Easter tree like that, and all these are the S, all these are the E60 um assembly line data. You have to copy this from it, and so on, and then copy it over to the GDA folder in WinKPT and so on, and then it will run without errors. Now let me see if we can close WinKPT and open it back again. Here is WinKPT right here. All right, let's just go to comfort mode and let us go to choose um. And the ECU family tree should be populated. There it is. Before it was not. So we're gonna go to um, the GKE transmission. The transmission had a part number of seven five seven eleven sixty two. And let us see if we can go here into this. Um, where is it? Right here. User info field. Hopefully, I click on the right one. See, laptop is slow as shit. I don't like working with these fuckers, man. All right, cool. The ad address 18 here is the EGS. Um, all right, that's not what I wanted. This is the one I wanted. We're working with this one here, address 18, this one. And you can see the VIN number right there. The VIN is KS32154, and then the ZV number is 757-2901. We're gonna see if we have anything close to that. Seven, I have 2678, 2680. Seven, Five seven eleven sixty two. I'm gonna go up here and see if we find it here. Seven five seven twenty eight fifty five twenty eight sixty seven. Then we'll go back here. G A K. What part of which one of the transmission is on the module? All right, we have seven five seven thirty six eighty one. Seven five seven thirty six seventy nine. We're gonna go over here and look. See if we find the same seven five seven pattern. All right, there's nothing here. So that G fifteen. It definitely is. It has a 757 um, 1162. Let me see if the number 2901 is greater than 1162, right? Yeah, so we'll go to GKE211 and we'll have to find something that says 2855. It is lower than 2901. So 2857. All right. All right. And then we have also a part number for this one 758 All right. He said, we're not sure as to which e ECU family to choose. All right, because you know the ZB number, this one here that states right here, this one, it might not show it up there. You know what I mean? But you can tell that they're close. You look at 757, and then you look at the other four digits, 2901 at the end. You can tell real and truly how close you are. You just keep looking for 757. And we have one here, 3679. This is higher than 2901. So this could be the family here, GKE194. Now we look again, we can see 7573681. This is higher than um this is lower than yeah, this is higher. 758 is higher than 7572901. So we can look back here, 757, 756, 757. Here's a 757, 3489. This could also pass for one of them, but I'm really uncertain. We'll go here. We have 757, no 755, 755. 756. Uh, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. There's nothing here that 
show 757. We have to go back 901. We have 757.34.89. That's all we have there for the GKE. And we have 757.36.79 and 757.36.81. Then we have here. Uh, there's nothing here for G195. We have a lower. Yeah, these are lower than what is in the car. So it has to be one of these here. G194 or G191. Uh, All right, we're going to shut off. We're here. We don't, we don't sure as to which one. So we are going to close Win KPT and then we minimize this and then we are going to um let us go and read out the car again with NC6. Let us see if we can use our head a little bit wiser. Alright. We are going to push this up to the screen here. Alright, boom. We're gonna do this right here. Load a profile, then we choose dummy. Choose F1, then F3, then we choose E60 chassis. Read out the vehicle order from the CAS unit. Alright, then we press back button here, and then we process ECU. Then we're going to choose again um, what we're going to look for here. Um, the Aegis, yeah, here's the Aegis. Alright, it tells us it's a GK11 that IPO for use and it's a GS19B.PRG. Alright, this comes for this GA, this GKE is. Um, this is like the card that I did the other day for uh, my friend named um, Ramon. Let us minimize this. Let us run Win KPT again. Let us go back here to the ECU family and let us choose ZB number. Let us scroll up to GKE. Uh, you, usually GKE 214 belongs to the GS19B transmission. And as I can see, here's a part number for it 7571162. That is pretty lower, so we have to go up one step higher here. And they will look for something that this is lower than 757.2901. All right. So we go up to that. Okay, there's no 757 there. So we go up to GKE194. And we see if we can find 757.3679. So it's one of these that we have to choose and so on. All right. Okay. Um, we can also close this one. And we can enter ZB number of 757.2901. Um, and it might not find it. See that? It doesn't find it because it looked directly in this file here. It looked directly in this file right here. As you can see, the name of the file is called dot, dot config, KF config. This is it. It looked right in that file for, um, for certain information. It's looking for the part number here for the module. So what we're going to do now, we have to just, um, let me see if we can do a search. I try to put in the part number 757-2901, it enters, it's red, it's not found in there, so we're going to put in EGS. Alright, see that EGS is not found in this one right here, I don't know why, it just that doesn't find it, you know. It doesn't find EGS here, nowhere EGS is listed here, so um, it's kind of weird. Let me do another search, just to be sure. EGS is not here. See that? All right, keep about a normal, much old word only, word rough, much case, much that background. Nothing is there, nothing is there, all right? So we can just close this out. So there's no EGS right here in this, uh, in, in this in this file, so it's, it's, file it's right. There's no EGS of the part number can't be found here because this is telling you right here that there's a string syntax error in the file to be converted. It tells you the name of the file. It is a dot, it's a data file. And it belongs to the E60 chassis type file. Alright. It's the ALC60. Alright. It's a line. This is line one. So we go right here. And uh, we can okay. Let me see where line one is at. Line one. This is the name of the file. Alright, as you can see here. Same thing. That says here, kffconfig.da2 file, all right, line one, so I don't know. Um, where to find line one, bro? There's no EGS here. All right, so what we're going to do now, we have to run um, ISTAP and then let ISTAP create it, um, a measure plan. Then we will see now what ISTAP dictate about the whole thing, all right? Um, let us, you know, let us minimize that, and let us minimize this, and minimize that. We are going to um, find this to be on the desktop. 
I don't know where it's at. Fucking laptop is stupid. It's orange stupid. All right, here's this stuff. We're gonna run this bad daddy here, and we are going to um, gonna release the icon. Release icon free. All right, cool. We're gonna load this one. This is the P for cars, BMW, that one. And let it boot up. Um, we can look at the memory resources now of Cino 71, over 70%. The memory on this laptop is over 70%. And the laptop is having a four gigabyte random access memory on a 64-bit operating system. The operating system uses roughly 3.8. So you understand the small amount of shit that is going on here. I told these men, get a new laptop. Update the laptop. They don't fucking hear. They don't hold up. I know they're calling back, you know, to help them. All right. So that is that. When I finally get fed up with them, I get fed up. All right. Nevertheless, let us pause video for now and we wait. All right. Cool. Let me look at what version is the beat is it? Oh, Ross is the P3651. Let us create a new session and see if it will open up the connection manager without giving an error. There it goes, starting a session. I will click that, then click on it. Out the pin. VIN number. Pause the video if you don't want to wait. Alright, since work control mode is replaced, tell it yes. And then boom. Let me just press the press button and I can't do that. Boy, pause the video now. All right, that's the last sister P the car they've been treated with. Mm. Record, all right, we're gonna look for the EJS here, and here is it that was replaced. And um, I don't know what else the do with the live module, all right, nothing else was replaced. So the EJS was the only one that have different pin numbers. So, in the meantime, we can go on the control unit tree here, and um, we can click on the EJS. We can now take a look at the action list. It tells us this is the part number. So we're going to choose 757-2855. And we also can go here. This is the part number. It's going to update to the control module. Let's go to control module information. It shows you what the part number of the basic control model is. 756-3275. And it shows you the part number of the program control unit. The actual now that is in the car is basically 757-2901. And it's really that the part number for the program control unit, what is specified, otherwise they call it nominal. This will be the sol uh, reference part number that will be updated. All right. So um, what I was saying is that WinKPT here. Uh, well, let me see if I can put this up right like that. All right. We're going to try to see if we can. Um, we're going to input a 756 number, the basic control unit. 
seven five six thirty two seven five and see if we find it. Okay, it's not there. It's not nowhere in the file of that that what is in this to be. Okay, so we're gonna choose another ZB number. Enter a ZB number. We're gonna put in um neither seven five seven is there. Twenty nine or one. This one is not there either. See that? This one is not there either. The ATB A scan ATB scan ATB blah 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 blah. Alright, there's nothing there on this one also. Okay, so we, we there's nothing here. So we enter another Z B number. Let us enter the Z B number that it find in the file. Seven five seven twenty eight to five seven five seven. Uh, 28 to 5. Yes, there it goes. It finds something. It's in the GKE 211 ECU family. And remember, previously we had shown in the video where we go there and identify that this one, 7572825, is um, somehow it is lower than 7572901. Okay? As you can see that the part number for the basic control model is 7563275 and then the actual on it is 7572901 and the one specified that's going to override 7572901 is 7572855 okay and it call it right here the variant is a GS19B transmission right here so usually now in WinKPT we know what is the right ZB number to choose to override the ZB number that is right here see that this is the ZB number that is in the use control model taken from a different car and here's the VIN number in it. So we're going to try to tell ISTP that we replace this EGS right here on address 18 and then it shall treat it as a replacement follow-up and overwrite this VIN number so that this VIN number is written there and the next time we read it out with IMPA user field, it will show us uh, the VIN number change. Hopefully change. Hopefully that EGS doesn't have too much of a high mileage data in it and so on and so forth. All right. So we can click this and then we can enter a VIN. What is the VIN number of this car? We enter VIN, we can enter the, uh, the file, we can put CM50045. All right, and then we click done. And then it picks out the right file, see that? It picks out the 03GKE211.IPO. Like it what showed us in NCS Expert. Let us look again. There's a file in the NCS Expert. It shows you the GK11.IPO file and the GS19B variant PRG file is selected and the coding file is the GK11P.COO file. All right, you can see the same thing here. GKE211.IPO and a 10 flash.prg file. The same dot 10 PO, the same, the same 10 flash.prg file it's the same thing here, right here. GS19B variant. That is it. That's all. Um, in NCS Expert, it called it by the variant. All right. But in um, it's the P in WinKPT, it called it a 10 flash dot PRG. All right. And um, as you can see here, we can go click on special. We can read out the current user info field from the module. It shows you the VIN number that is in the model right now. That is it. And it shows you right here the same VIN number in it. Usually, when the VIN number is changed. Um, it will reflect the VIN number of the car right here in entry 2 and then it will show an update of the part number right here. All right, because the part number in it right now is about um, 756, 4080 and so on. All right, so it shows that one, 755, uh, 2145 software number and you have 755, 2144 assembly identification number and so on. All right, so... This is, okay, sorry, you have entry three. This is the last one I looked at. This is the present state of the module. All right. It shows you how many stage the module, the modules go through. The module goes through entry one props. We run the BMW with this VIN number in either factory. The, the, the basic control unit part number is this one. And then somebody update it with another version of ISTP and you write this one to it. And then the last time the module was treated with ISTP, is that this part number is written to it. 7572901. As you can see that, um, the VIN numbers are the same, KS32154, you see that? 
all the same and so on. So it's three times you go through a programming uh, session there and so on. It shows you too by the kilometer difference, 123,600 kmh. And then compared to this one, the last time it was programming entry two is um, 46,800 kilometer. And it shows you that there's no kilometer right there uh, when it was done. So, all right, so we um, we make a point. Okay, we are not going to press done and um, flash nothing. We're just showing you this as a um, excuse for um, to, to do it right, to do it right. All right, this is the ordering number that what it have in it um, from factory, 756 The assembly identification number that's going to be updated to here at WinKFPT is 757-2855. All right, so we can uh, minimize that. And then um, we're going to um, check out the plan. It, it checks it out here as programming and encoding and replacement follow-up. This replacement follow-up, we're going to alter and change every number, all right? So we're going to determine measure plan. I'm going to see who's sending me a message right here. This is Sam. OK, Sam. All right, they said the laptop is up, so we're going to pause this video for now. All right, it's going to take 34 seconds to write the VIN number over to the EGIS, so we're going to do that. All right, as you can see here, the same part number, part number, program ECU new, 757 like it is in the, um, the updated files. All right, and um, all right, no big deal. So we go forward with it and um, we go, let me see if I can um, print this. All right, for EGIS. Odd uh, replacement. All right. EGS. GS nineteen B variant. Change V number. The change V number. Change the number, bro. Yep. All right, we're gonna click accept measure plan. All right, let us do it. All right, it's gonna accept measure plan. So, action list. All right. All right, there's no writing. Progress going up there, 10, 20 percent. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna pause the video for now and wait till it reach 100. All right, see that? He just program and coded. I don't know what the pin for me. He needed adaptive headlights to get off the ground. He need to remove that. The essay option. Um, I think it's what 520. I don't know. 520. Add up to the light. Oh, yeah. Right in current key member settings. All right, prepare to clear a file code.
Alright, so, I don't know, clear fault memory. Let us pause with it for now. Okay, file code entry still present. You said the light module here. Communication with the SMC left disrupted and communication with the SMC right disrupted. Okay. Woo! All right, it programmed successfully. So the EGS is overwritten. So, um, Who, me? Hello? Uh, yeah, hey, Christopher, can I call you right back again? I got somebody just walked in. Oh, yeah, sure. You can, you can, sorry, you can. Sorry, I'm sorry about all this. I'll call you right back. All right, man, cool, no big deal. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. All right, YouTubers, we are, that is the guy I'm working for on this BMW 60. All right, he said he wanted, the owner of a car said he wanted the adaptive headlights to be removed. We're going to look for a 524 if it says here. Oh, here's it right here, adaptive headlights. We're going to remove this from the SA option using SS Expert later. Um, did I save this vehicle detail? I don't know, let me save it. So vehicle details. All right, cool. So it's the fee right now. We're gonna shut this shit off. Um, you have other models that want to be updated. Look, this is the EGS right here. It's been um, treated properly. All right, there's the there's the um there's the now the part number of the program control unit. Actual now is seven five seven twenty eight fifty five. Okay, there goes YouTubers. Okay, all right, and this control model can program sixty more times. All right, so we sign off now. The VIN number has changed, I think. So we're gonna um, we're gonna sign up. Click X and then click Display Session Overview. Session will be ended, and then in the meantime, we can look. Oh, I2 radar is not here. Let me check. Oh damn, these guys don't have it. Oh, I2 radar is there. It's right here, man. The tax bar is um shaved up like this. Art is free. In the meantime, we're gonna reserve it. We're going to run. Uh, we're gonna uh, minimize this. All right. In the meantime, we're going to look at. Um, we're going to run Impa. Let me remove some of these things from the taskbar here and pin that shit. And then unplane this as well to give us some space. Okay, we're gonna look for impa right here. This one, I'm gonna click on that and run it. And we're gonna now look for the E60. We're gonna click functional jobs. And we're gonna go to. I'm gonna look at error. Let us see if no error comes up in um read error memory. Let us see. If, okay, the E just has no error in it. Okay, very good. And we're gonna scroll down and look. And most of the errors has been cleared out of the car. All right, no big deal. All right, there's only basically two errors stored in the um, the light module and one error stored in the CID. All right, we can go back here and then we can click user info field. 
Let us look at the VIN numbers change on the EGS. And there it is right here. There's the EGS on address 18. The VIN number has changed. There's the updated part number 757-2855. And the VIN number now in it is CM50045 right there. And it's showing the date is for um, May what? 4, 2020. All right, we can save this as a printout. So, um, Use an info field. Vin change. Okay. And updated ZV number. All right. So we just pour that into that document there and. Um, in the meantime, we're going to close this and um, E1, the essay option for the adaptive headlights to be removed. All right, we're going to go here and we're going to close this and we're going to open it again right here. Load profile, dummy, then we click F1, then that. Let me click this one, read out that. Read out cast unit. And there we know we're gonna enter FA. Alright, calculate checksum. The checksum is digit B. And then we're gonna scroll down and look for 54. 524 and move. This is it. And then when we highlight like that, we click delete. Then we click OK. And then we go back here, the reprocess ECU. We're going to look at all the ECUs right here to get coded. All of these ECU right here, we're going to try to code them. Um, the most important one would be, um, we're going to code the CAS unit. All right, this is the DME. We're going to code the CAS. We're going to code the CAS first, and we're going to go Right here, a job name, code your date, mean code your listen, mean code read, and we're gonna have to change job. And we're gonna say FA right, right here. All right, so we're gonna now execute job. All right, it's finished. The FA is right. All right, those buttons right here, come back block. We're gonna also go, uh, and um, we're gonna go back to here and change back to main menu. Choose ECU, uh oh, sorry. Go back here, uh, enter FA. All right, we're gonna click, all right, we're gonna go back, scroll and look, if, if, we're gonna look for it, if it's still there. It's not there. It would be between 522 and 524. It's not there, it's gone. So we call the cast with that, edit it. And um, we're gonna go back and process ECU, process another ECU with the EGS. We're gonna write the same thing to it, change job. Oh, sorry. The EGES does not take a FA right. All right. All right. We already coded the EGES, so we do not need to code it back with those files right here. So we're going to look for, um, all right, there's no FA right here. So it changed up that. Let us look for um, change EC right here. We're going to see if we can. This is the, this is DME, uh, 6B MOT. So we're going to see if there's an FA right for it. Um, change job. Oh, there's no FA right here for it. Also, there's no FA right. We change ECU. We're just going down the line and look at what the vehicle order can be written to. Oh, the FRM, shit. Um, change job. All right, there's no, there's no FA right here for it. All right, and um, we have to uh, change ECU. We have to look for the FRM or the light module. The LMA is that. All right, we're gonna choose this one. And then we're going to change job here. FA right. You see that? The, the entries, what the model can take, it's right there. So we said FA right. So we're going to write the um, execute job now. All right. It failed. LMA 33. That failed right there. Error by resetting ECU. So error by running job, FA right. And, um,
All right, let me see if I can go back here and read out the car. And um, all right, all these ECU, I'm gonna code it with um, with the relative FA. All right, we're gonna change. Um, we're gonna process. All right, process car. All right, I can't process the whole damn car because it's gonna take a long damn time. I don't wanna process the car. I don't wanna process everything. It's gonna take a long time. So it's to find which EC we can process. Um, I don't know. We only take out adaptive L lights. Let us take out, let us call the combi. Let us see if the combi can be having a change job for FA, FA right. All right, there's no FA right here. Option for the um, combi. It's only for the cast unit and the, the light module, you know? Because if we close the program and we reopen it, we can load a profile and roll the MCS dummy. And then we click this one. Then we click um, this. And then we click E60 here. And then you come up with an option, LMA. Let us see if we read out the same FA from that. All right, we're going to go now and look at FA. I right, calculate that. All right, we're going to scroll down and look at this find 524 in the FA of the light module. All right, here's it. We have to remove it. And click OK. And then we press the back button. And then we choose ECU. And then we go to a light model here. And then we change the job to FA, right? And then we click Execute Job. All right. It won't allow the um, the vehicle order in the um, the F um, the FRM the light module to change. I do not know why here. I just can't remember. I don't know why. I don't know what this is. Is it of the courier index for gender control unit? I don't know what this shit is. All right. So the best way to do now is to type this in Google Translate. All right. Let us pause the video for now. All right. This right here, an NCS expert. All right, it is giving us this error right here. So we open up Google Translate and then we, um, it says right here, um, I don't know if I can read this shit out. Google, it's just a green ass shit. All right. The coding index of the following control unit is not permitted for this coding job. Okay, cool, you see that? So we can um, remove the, the, the see, see the problem here? I have to show Wayne, Wayne it. All right, good. I'm going to show him, show Wayne. I have to show him this bullshit right here. Um, I have to call him. I have to pause this video here. We record a session. All right, we're going to use, um, what should I do now? Uh, which software should I run? It's the... All right, I'm gonna release this thing here. All right, I'm gonna run Ista now. I'm gonna see what file code it comes up with. I remove 524 from the CAS unit, but um, the program does not allow me to remove it from the light module because that is serve as a backup if you're gonna replace the CAS unit that all of the vehicle order um, is read from that and write to a new cast if you should replace it. So that's the reason why I think um, NCS expert is written by which you cannot perform that job. Um, you can't probably um, delete any um, let's say option code from the light model. What a what a pasta pasta! Wow. All right, time to call this dude, man. Yeah, Warren. Okay, cool. All right. I have removed the 524 option from the cast, but when I make an attempt to remove it from the light module and write over the what we have left, it failed. It says that job is not permitted, not allowed. So it, the cast the cast unit is the only one that allowed the option to be removed and coded with uh, what what with what is left. You know. Oh, it doesn't show up on the display anymore. I don't see 
seen on there, but you know what? I'm going to wait till you're done with what you got going on right there. And then I'll, uh, I'll see if it shows up. Maybe it does. I don't know. I, sometimes you got to turn the key off and then back on, and it comes up initially when you hit the key. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's gone because I removed it from the cast unit. It's only we can we can manipulate the, the light module, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the cast the cast unit shows that um all green, the cast is okay. It's only light model here showing that the SME right disruptive. Yeah. It said C I D okay. malfunction due to peripheral. Okay. Alright. Alright. This 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 the central information display malfunction due to peripheral device. Um, the SA option goes for adaptive headlight. It could be where the adaptive headlight, the information of it is also displayed on the CID. It comes to the head unit. Okay. It, yeah, so this is the peripheral. It could be, this is the reason why this fault code right here, malfunction due to peripheral, could be the cause of it. All right, so let's just calculate the test plan and go forward. Whew. Hey, if you want, you can replace the light module. When you get a when we get a light module, we can um, program that one to dystopia. and dystopy will copy the vehicle order from the cast and write it to the light module, and then it will be it will not have the 524 in it. You know what I mean? Okay. That's a wise way. I just come in my head, you know. <laughs> you gotta uh, replace the light module. Yes, it can replace the light module. All right, it said voltage supply for central information display. You can replace the light module. When we get a new one from the dealership, we can use Istop to program it, tell it that we replace it as a um tell it that we replace it and then Istop will check it as a replacement follow and then it will copy the vehicle order from the CAS unit as it is with the 524 removed and then um it will write it to the light module. I hope it doesn't yeah, yeah, well, it won't know that we remove an option because we coded the CAS with what is left. You know what I mean? And it takes the coding okay. okay. Alright. All right. So if you get All a right. yeah, if you get a brand new light yeah. model. All right. All right. I'll see if he says that. If he uh, see if he wants to go for that, and then uh, we'll do that. Then that's no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. He said the malfunction here is caused by the MOS ring reset. So I do not know which one of the um the data lines on it. All right. He said Earth connection. Yeah, this car, this car is not really a pristine vehicle here. Yeah, you know, and uh, trying to help the guy out a little bit, but the gosh, you know, he just. I don't have a lot to work with. Okay. Hey, okay. What about the CID, the screen? Does it display stuff now? Yes. Yes, it does. All right, cool. Because it tells yeah. us right here that the screen may have been blank out for a short time as the most ring was reset. All right, no problem. It's probably a most ring thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now it's showing it, so everything's working. The radio's playing. All right, cool. Very good, very good. So very good. everything's on. You must have something else going on with the... Uh, with the uh, most system, uh, surprise, because usually when something goes down on that, it all goes down, but yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's working. Yeah, yeah, I'll delete the fault from it. Let me see if the fault goes away from the CID. All right. Yeah, prepare to turn off terminal 15. Just wait for the instruction. Well, it takes a damn long time. The CID should be green. I think it should be green because if the most ring was reset, then uh, all right. It wouldn't be plain. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wouldn't be plain, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two fault code. It's a two fault code for left and right SMC on the light yeah. module output. All right, yeah, that's all there is to it. It's kind of green right now and clean. I mean, no big deal. That's all there is to it, you know what I mean? Brake, yeah. brake light right fault, the adaptive headlight system fault. So we remove the SA option, but it's still... All right, the reason why the light... You can get a brand new light module and add it to the car, and um, you can get one... Or, oh, wait a minute. We can try to get... We, 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 I'll, use, I'll use the VIN number and I'll put, put it in the ETK and I'll try to have you buy one of those uh, light modules that has um, 
has no adaptive headlight function in it. Because, I mean, I don't know, hardware, the hardware side of things, you know, because they have, they have light module with xenon light, um, adaptive headlight, and they have with, without adaptive headlight. So, it's the, okay. it's the, if, if, if we could find a module that is without the option for the adaptive headlights, but then again, right. That's right. I cannot tell the connectors at the output. The, I cannot tell the, the um the output the connectors that shall be there. I don't know if they will um I don't know what I don't know if they will be the same shape for the connect. I don't know what they will will will, will, will remove or, or 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 what they would have there. You know, you know what I mean? I just don't know. Yeah. You know because when. Um, well, I'll see. Uh, I'll see what I can find out. What I can dig up. Uh, yeah. I think as long as it's not in the cast. Uh, I'm like, yes, we're just gonna have to try to find the light module, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the only way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you can find a used module that has low mileage in it, no big deal. But if you can't have the owner order one from the dealership, I mean that's cheap. You know, it's yeah. not it's not expensive, so you can get one from the dealership and you. And then we can um try to code it. Um, with, right. the, with the present essay option in the yeah, car. I'll do that. I'll, I'll tell him he's just gonna have to get a light module, and uh, and we'll see uh, we'll see where where he goes with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. In the meantime, let me sh let me store this control unit three, and I'm gonna. Yeah, and then just you know, let me know what I need on this. Yeah, let me go back here to vehicle details. Let me click vehicle details. Let me go down here. Look at the essay option. I remove 524. Let me say if it's if it's there. No, it's not there. See, it's gone. You see that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, it will be between 522 and 534. It's gone. Only xenon light is there, but not adaptive lights. But if you can buy back a model, I don't know. I mean, you could just I don't know. I mean, there's no all right. Try to start the car and see if that uh error comes up in the cluster again. All right. About the um the adaptive light if the error comes up. Alright, let me see. Let me shut it off. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. It comes up? Okay. So I guess we're just gonna have to try to find a light module and we'll see if we can turn it into the cast. Yes, or, yes, uh, yes, yes. Or, or, or just get one uh, that, that maybe doesn't have that option even. Okay. Just tell the guy to take the car okay. as it is. Because get rid of get rid rid of the error about that i mean there's one or two uh, variants we have here let me see um the light model here let me look at the variants that one is lm um ahl adaptive light so that's the only name of the variant of it it's just that the, the, the part number is uh nine one nine eleven sixty two or oh, sixty yeah all right, let me see if I can open ETK here. We're going to um, look for, uh, we're going to go here, part search. And the, the pin number will be CM5005. Then we enter central database, so we're not going to align the global ASA option. All right, we are going to look for um, control units here, 61. And then we go down as if we find light module, control modules here. So, all right. We have adaptive and light is 524. Let us tell it no. All right. And um, does that car have heads up display? Uh, does it? It's over to the driver's side on the dashboard there that shows up like a display when, you know. Uh, I just got one in the center, it looks like, and then you got the CID in the center. Okay, just put, put your hand over the driver's side in front of you, the dashboard over to the in line with the driver eye, and see if you feel a little ditch down there, like a little cutout where a little 
a screen could be there that displays something on the windscreen. That, that, that is where they would put it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, it doesn't have heads up this way. I see what you're saying. Okay, it has yeah, it, right? It, it, it shoots to the windshield, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't have that. Oh, it doesn't have it. Okay, cool. It doesn't have that. All right, cool, cool, cool. cool. Uh, no, that's the part, that's the thing that stems in the windshield where you see it in the corner of the windshield without looking down, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it doesn't have it, right? It doesn't have it. All right, no problem, buddy. All right, this car uh, in ETK here. I'm I'll probably you cannot see what I'm saying here. Do you have ETK on your car? All right, the light module here. The part number for it is nine two three zero eight one. All right. Yeah, let me see if I can um. The one we're gonna get, light module. This one is without Xenon. Um, it, it has Xenon, but without adaptive light. You know what I mean? The part number would be roughly uh, 6135, although that is not bad, uh, this will be 9, it will be 9, 9203081, let me see if I'm right here, yeah, 9203, oh, 203, uh, 081, yeah, we're gonna go fishing online for a bit for it, and um, we're gonna place this right here in my documents folder. A light module part number without adaptive and light. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to um we're going to let me see. Let me see here. Let me look at the part number of what it is in this one. The part number is nine eleven sixty two sixty. Let me see if I find this one also in ETK. Yeah, let me see if I find this one in ETK because um um I have to make some changes. Switch over from that tell it I'm gonna tell it that it has um 522 and 524, it puts another model there at the bottom. So 524 says yes. And then um, let me look at the relative part numbers. Oh, the part number is almost the same. See that? Part numbers. See them like yes. But, huh? Wonder it must be, yeah, it must be in the coding then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, be what in the coding? What are you talking about? Uh, the part number is the same for both. Yeah. What yes, that's what I'm saying here in ETK. Yes, because I choose the option that says, um, I choose yes for, um, adaptive end lights 524, and then ETK adjusted it. Um, it added that to it, and then um, it shows me on the supplement. 524 and 522 yes and it shows me that the light module is the same damn number you know yeah yeah it must be in the coding and we'll shut it off somehow yes it has to be in the coding yeah it has to be in the coding all right so um yeah. we can go into the trace file of the light module and the cast unit and disable it uh, maybe i can do it that way in the light mode let me read out a trace file okay yeah yeah let me read out a trace file let me shut off this thing here um break connection The light model for that one is what? 9, 
All right, 9 11, 62, 60. Uh oh. 9 11, 62, 60. Uh oh, 60. Uh oh, 62, 60. Yeah, that's what I read, right? That's what I see there. So let me save that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I see here. That is a part number for there. Um, yeah, 911, blah, blah, blah. All right, let me disconnect from this. All right, we minimize that. And then we kept it free, free. So we... Um, All right, we're gonna now run back uh, NCS Expert. We're gonna look at the LMA, we're gonna read that out. All right, we're gonna press back. And we're gonna process this to you again. And it will be a uh, live module here, where is it? Boom. And all right, code here didn't listen. It's gonna um, execute a job. All right, it's finished already. So we're gonna go to the uh, this right here, and we're gonna go work folder. We're gonna go right here and um, look at this. All right, this is what the file system will look like here for it. Um, is where we could go and search and go look for. Um, I do not know what the argument is, you know. Adaptive lights. I don't know. Let me. Adaptive. Uh oh, there's nothing. Let me put in lights. Nothing there. HL. Nothing there. Um, what we would put there? Um. Xenon or oh, nothing. Wow, you see that? I can't find, I can't put in a word that pulls up anything else I've got right there. You see that? Yeah. All right, let me, let me empty the list. Let me empty it. Let me empty it and save it. Let me empty it and then I'll read over again. I'm going to execute the job again. I said the file has been modified by the problem. Do you want to reload it? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what do you think? Just need to get one? Um, I don't know. Other people are like, yeah, you can get one. You can get one of the modules. You can get a brand new one, and then we will um uh tell us the that we replace it, and then um it will it, it should copy the vehicle order as it is from the cast unit and right to the light module and so on i just hope there's no tricks in this p that it can tell that oh well the wrong variant <laughs> because it will say it will say wrong variant if we have no 524 in the cast where the, the light module when we purchase it it has 524 hardware to it it has a 524 option hardware to it unless of course it's the same model and the coding part is what enables the adaptive well light. You know what I mean? In the coding part. It determines what coding files are right. Huh? Yeah, that's what I would have thought is that in the coding, but maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, but I don't know how else you would I guess it's uh it would be plugged in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's a connection. Um the best bet here is to um, find out if the best bet is to find out if we can get um, hey you know what we just don't know bro um you have to take a chance and buy a used light module um, from a car and so on I, know. I just don't know you know what I mean yeah I just don't yeah. know I don't we just don't know we have a lot of heads right here we just do not know um, what hardware version unless of course when you pull out the light module, you can take a picture of it and send it to my phone. Let me look at the hardware version and I can see what hardware version is for one without adaptive in lights. You know what I mean? It's just that's the best way right now to make a comparison. If I can, uh, if I can pull it out and take a picture of it, I, I can see where it's probably behind the glove box if I can. 
yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use this study to find it. Let me show you. Um, all right, I'm going to close up this right here. Uh, I usually, let me see now. If change ECU, change job, uh, boom. FA read. All right, we're going to go back to the file here. All right, that is the file readout. That is the, um, the FA. I don't know. These are the Excel. These are, these are the net coding for, for FA. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That is a net, yeah, that is the net coding for FA. And I do not know. Oh, sorry. I opened the wrong one. I opened the wrong one. I should have opened this one. Trace. Oh, it's the same thing here. Um, within the wait, where where does it dump it? Read FA job name, job status, but where does it dump it? You know what I mean? Oh, right here. Oh, 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 I find it. FA trace. Here's it. Or right, here's it. Here's it. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so after the dollar signs at five twenty four. Uh, where is it? It keeps keep that going a little further. It's past. Uh, yeah, right there, five twenty four. Uh, yeah. Let me so do a, that's, uh, I wonder if he deleted. Yeah, let me do a word wrap. All right. Let me save the vehicle order because sometimes we need to save this right here. Okay. We need to save it right here. Um and do original or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me save it like um for um we need it for backup purposes. We do, we do not know what's going to play out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. If anything goes offline, we can get this, can write it back to the, um, you know, write it back to one of the modules. E16. The vehicle, yeah. What is the VIN there? Um, what's the VIN again? The VIN is uh, CM. Uh, let me get my light here. I can't hardly really see. Uh, All right. I think I know it. Let's see. I can get it for you. Oh, I got it. You need the whole band or you got it? Yeah, the last seven is CM. I think it's CM. We can look at Insta here. It is CM 545. Yeah, it's the CM 545, yep. Yeah, FA. Yeah, TR Trace file. All right, that is it for that. Um, What should I name it, man? Just, uh, yeah, maybe write the original. It can be saved as a dot SSD, you know what I mean? Yeah. It can be saved as a dot yeah. SSD. Let me see if I can save it as a dot SSD. This is the extension which the file is saved. Um it um that is it right here. Save as that. When you're writing it to the um when you're using NCS Expert to write it to the module, it has to be in a dot SSD extension, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. So, so that is it right here. We're ready right that. And um, this is it right here. We can also open it again. That is it. We have it saved. We can take a copy of it and we can back it up somewhere. And um, we back it up. We're gonna, we get to create a folder for this car. Let me create one right now. BMW E60. Then CM5005. All right, all these files have to go there in this. Make it zero five four five. Oh, yeah, four five. All right, this one is open. Oh, it's four five. Yeah. Oh shit! I'm stupid. <laughs> Different one. All right, cool. We already set up that folder right here. All right, no big deal. Um, 
what else? Back to main function, blah, blah, blah. All right, we close this off. There's nothing else, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, um, there's nothing else to do here. What we do, we just have to just get a live module and try to wiggle our way into it and try to write the, um, the modified. We can modify the FA, but we want to keep the original one with the 524, so we just keep that, you know what I mean? It's, okay. it's still the same thing because the cast only have a modified FA where 524 is omitted out. So we have the original one that we save it and we back it up in two eras, no big deal. All right, let me see if I can take a copy of your files and back it up on my system just in case if you need, I don't know if your laptop will crash, I don't know. Let me take a copy of this and um, put it into my doc, my documents here just in case. Hmm? Let me put this one here. It says Warren BMW. Let me rename it. It's already copied over. All right, with UVJS. All right, so uh, changing. All right, let's get this one back in. All right, then, so we're rock and rolling. All right, so far, so good. We can release ICOM now and um, ICOM release, and that's it so far. So good. So, I mean, I'm finished for now. Until I get a light model, we can program that. All right. Okay, YouTubers, end of this video session right here. Yeah, you can find one. You can order one from the dealership. No big deal if you want. Or you can try to buy a used one offline. Uh, used one cheap, you know. Just just to see if you can buy one uh, without. Buy one without adaptive headlights to it if you can find that variant on eBay. Or if you have a junk, if you have if you have a junk yard, you can go to. Or you can buy one off eBay. You can take a chance and buy one without the option for adaptive event lights. And then we can um we can now uh, treat as replacement for it might not you know ah oh, wait a minute ah oh, an idea just came in my head. Let me use Ista P and tell let me tell it let me run Ista P and tell Ista P that we replace the light module and let us see if it will actually um yeah, right over the FA in it. Yeah, let's see if we can trick it. <laughs> let me see if we can trick it. Okay, Warren. All uh, right, yeah, see if that'll work. Yes, all right, buddy. All right, oh, all right. Maybe all right. it'll take the cast uh, information off of it. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. We can minimize this. And we run is the P... All right. All right, is it? It's the P. Yeah, I guess it'll take the info off the cast and then write write that to the, the options to the light module, right? Yes, yes, that's what my intent is. Yes, yes, that I'm, I'm gonna try it to see if that works. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, you know. I'm gonna to try to see if it works. Hey, I can't lose anything. Yeah, we can't lose anything. Yeah, right. We can't lose anything. That's right. Yeah. Woo! Yeah.
Voilà. Alright, we're gonna say yes and then we click that to continue. Alright, we don't know if this trick is gonna work, but just all like a tricks of the trade. You see that? Look at the essay option. Look at the optional extras right there to the bottom left of the screen. You see that there's no 524 there, so it read, it reads it yeah, out of the cast yeah, unit no first. There, you're right. yeah. yeah, so and that. Gone, so. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, we're going to pause the video for now while we wait. All right, exclude components. We're going to leave what infotainment, so. Alrighty then, so blah blah blah. Alright, Xenon analyze their automatic comment, blah blah blah. So I don't know. Hopefully we can take away the light module here a bit. And um oh, wow. There's no IO part number for that, it seemed like still unlimited. Wow, so much time you can program that. Wow. 911 6260. Mm. All right, we we'll just wait until it's finished. Wayne? How much time is How much more time? Yeah, what did it say on the time? Oh, it doesn't give us a time here. It usually, nah, oh. it, it's still determining measure plan, you know? Still determining measure plan. Let me go fishing for it here, light module. You see that? It doesn't show it up. Yeah, it does. It does? Where is it? Yeah, it doesn't. You're right. It doesn't show it. It should be in there as uh, LM. Uh, it should be. Uh, it should be LMA. <laughs> yeah, LMA, exactly. Because yeah. Um, the light module here is. Get out of it. All right, there, all right, let me show you what happened. Because we removed the adaptive headlights and that light module there have that function in it. Ista P sees it as the wrong module, so it's it's selected as replacement, direct replacement. Yeah, so that's right. It's a re right. Yeah, it's the reason why we do not see it show up there. So we can see the reason why we know the reason why the Germans make it this way. Okay. Yeah, they almost try to get you on every corner, don't they? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, yes, true, it's true, it's true, it's true. All right. Yeah, so that is why they have it here checked off in R. You see that? It, 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 if, if, yeah. if we had not removed the uh, 524 from the cast and it when the, when the vehicle order of the cast and the, the light model are uh, compared, it will be the same. Um, it's the you would have seen the light model, not as a replacement, but as to be programmed and coded as an update or a replacement follow -up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so therefore we can see the reason why we shouldn't even edit the vehicle order. And that is why it tells us in NCS Expert that that function can't be performed when we're trying to do it, you know? Yeah. Because it uses that module as a backup module to uh, to write the new vehicle order to a new CAS unit should you choose to uh, replace the CAS on the car. So that's the reason why they say you can't edit it. Okay, I see. Oh, I see. Um, All right, there's nothing here to um, choose. I mean, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. No light module, no LMH. Because guess what? It's it's not all right, all of these control models right here identified is read out from the vehicle order of what is in the CAS unit. Because remember I removed 524. So I can see the reason why they don't put LMA LMA right there because of the adaptive L light function in that variant. So the hardware itself. The hardware itself is uh is a different variant from a light module without it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Yep. Oh boy, let me see here. Click on that. Wow, shit. I can't do nothing, bro. Ouch! 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 
All right, right vehicle order. All right, look, you see the part number that it chose now? Nine. This one is in the ETK, 9203081. Remember I showed you? I talked about this one? Right, in that's the, right. In the yeah. ETK, yeah, 9203082. All right. And but this one has 9203081 because the one that have adaptive headlights, it have the part number that starts, that ends with the two. The one without the adaptive headlight, it has the part number and with it one at the end. Because in ETK here, when I choose the option 524, the light module, it, 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 the part number changes to, to, um, to 9203802, but on the one on Easter P, it has one at the end of the eight. All right, let me, I'm gonna click no. Okay. All right, the part number at the end is changed back to a one in ETK when I remove the 524 from ETK. You understand? All right. Yeah, yes. Do, yeah. Yes, if I, if I, I'm gonna click it, yes. It's gonna add about the two to it. Here's it, the two change. I'm making a video of it. Let me see if I can make a video of it and show it to you. <laughs> Whoa, these German people are something else, bro. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll tell you, man. All right, this you is. All that stuff is just too much. Yeah, yeah. This right here. You, know, the... you do that every day. Yeah. All right. In the ETK right here, we said yes. Adaptive L light is 524, SA option A. Adaptive L light. So this is the part number here that shows up for 9203081. And it says right here, 524, yes. And this is the light model here. Boom. But when I go right here and I should no. I'm going to close. Now you're going to see this number change to 1. See that? Look, we're going to click this back. You're going to see change to 2. And it's now said yes. When 524 is, when you tell it no, ETK, no, 524, no adaptive headlights is there. The part number becomes um, with a 081 at the end. So ISTA P, ISTA P determines that it's through the CAS unit. You remember when we edit out 524? Hello? All right, cool. We edit 524 from the CAS unit and earlier on, and then there's a reason why it's, it, it sees the light model as something to write a vehicle order to it. But we should replace the light model with this part number right here, 920-3081 uh, and so on. If it was adaptive headlights, lights, the one right here at the eighth will turn to a two. All right, like it would be right here in ETK. All right, let's say right here we said 524 is no right here. Then we click yes right here. Look, change to two. You see that? See that? Yes, change to two. So that is what adaptive L lights is 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 um differ differentiated by right there. You know I me? Mean? If we click right here, it show no is right here. 524 no no no, and 522 yes. And then the, this is the part number for that my model. All right, this is it right here, man. This is so simple. All right, so this is why Easter P checks it as um, with a 081 there because the CAS unit, I, re I remove 524 um, option code for that feature of the light module, adaptive L lights. I remove the SA option with NCS Expert and then I recoded the CAS unit. But when I tried to do it with the light model itself, it, it, it didn't allow that function to work and so on and so forth. Um, so far, so good. We're gonna now have to um, shut this thing down because, um, all right, this is the part number here. All right, that's the part number there. All right, Warren. Oh, Warren, not here. Yeah, computer. All right, okay. Let me end up this video now. Uh. Hey, Warren. Yeah. Oh, you hear me now. All right, no big deal, buddy. All right. So in ETK, it shows that when, when it is adaptive in light, when we select like yes, it changed the part number to uh, 082 and so on. So um, okay. you can get a... It does have a different part number. Yes. You can, get a light, okay. you can get a light module from the dealership that based off of the part number. This one, take a picture of that one with the phone at the bottom. Nine... 203081. That is the light model with a 920 
Yes, yes. That is a part number. That's the order number that's gonna be written to the um the the light module without the adaptive headlight. Buy okay. that one from the dealership if you can buy it and so on. And then we put that to the car okay. and then we program it. Alright, alright. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll see if I can get uh, get one from them and uh and then uh, I'll give you a call when I get it. Hopefully, uh, well, I'll call the guy, give him a price on it. Yeah. I'm sure he's going to do it, though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, buddy. Um, let me see if I can determine measure plan. Let me see what comes up in the option list for um, after the measure plan is uh, completed. Let me see what comes up in the action list. Because I know right. it's going to check out the light model as a replacement because in the cast unit, there's no 524 and then in the light model the, the vehicle order in it has 524 so that is why Easter P right here is treating it as a replacement direct replacement because it's it think that it's the wrong hardware according to the vehicle order now that it sees in the cast so that that is our problem there all right let us scroll along now on our measure plan action list let me scroll down and see all right as you can see here this is the SA numbers right here in the cast unit I remove the 524, so 524 will be between 522 and 534, so that is removed. So that is the reason why it says the light module that we should order. <laughs> the part number is 9203081. How we can do this because it's, it's going to fail, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to freaking fail. Um. Let me open a WinKPT for now. Let me see if I can open. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try to put in this vehicle order. Vehicle. Um, I wish I could um, exit this shit right here. Um, uh, let me exit this. Let me uh, minimize this blood daddy here. Let me open up another one. I'm trying to use. I'm going to comfort. I'm going to type in a ZV number. I'm going to type in the updated part number uh, true Z. We're going to go to light module LLL. Oh, here's it. I passed it. Light module 60. All right. See, the part numbers are almost identical to what is on the car. 911, 62, right. whatever. All right. Let us go up to, let us go up to this one here. All right, all right. This is it. Is the LM4 460 is the one without the adaptive headlights. You see that? Right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm wrong. Um, sorry. L is the, the LM460 is is what is on the car. Easter P determined the part number for the module without the adaptive headlights is the one that says 081, and the one that has adaptive. No man, no man. The one on the car right now is 082. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes, the one on the car yeah. is 082 because Easter P determined what um light model variant according to the vehicle order that is written in the chassis unit. Right. Yeah, so basically it, it, it um the one that has the 524 option in ETK, remember it shows us a two. I'll show you, I think I'll show you a picture of it. I'll show you a picture. The one that has 081 is the one without the option for adaptive headlights. Okay, let me see if I can show you this again. Let me see if I can take a picture of it and send it to you. Wait, I'm coming. I'm taking a picture. I'm sending to you. I'm gonna take a picture of both the adaptive the options here at the top. All right, as you can see, the options at the top selected. No, all right, boom, boom. All right, um, let me see if I can send it. This do you have WhatsApp there? WhatsApp. Uh, I think I do have that on my phone, yeah. I sent you two pictures. It's updating. 
All right, let us hang up the phone. Let us let these two pictures go through with these, okay? All right. Let us hang up the phone and we call back one another. When, I, when the pictures are uploaded, I call you back, okay? Okay, yeah. all right, sounds good, thanks. When these pictures are uploaded, I call him back because you know the bandwidth is too low. All right, YouTubers, I know this video has been running for a long time. I know it's probably gone over one hour. What we learn here, the light module, if it has the option 524 now, the part number will be 9203081. All right, as you can see here in this, the P, yeah, it's on address 70, light module. It says that the part number that of the one that we should get to suit the CAS, the vehicle order in it, because in the CAS unit, the vehicle order um, for the light module having adaptive headlights, it is 524, and I remove that. So it determined that according to the vehicle order, this is the part number that we should now um, order the, the light module without adaptive headlights. And then we can actually replace this one here, light module with adaptive headlights. Because the light module there, it refused to allow us to actually remove the 524 optional extra for the adaptive lights out of it and then rewrite it in NCS Expert. It failed. So therefore, we have to, in the ISTAPI here, it forced us to replace it because we were be able to remove it from the CAS unit and then code the CAS unit with a new FA. All right. So that is what we have right here, man. And then it's kind of, you know, complicated for people who can see it. You know what I mean? So that is it, buddy. All right, we can't accept the plan of to go back and so on. All right. I mean, I could try to update it and see if it goes through. That's what I should have to do. I should have to click accept measure plan. I have, let me determine it again. Let me determine it. Because maybe it can overwrite the vehicle order in the module. Let me try to see if I can do it. Because that's what I run is to pay for. If it fail, it fail. Hello. Okay, yeah, I got them both there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to determine measure plan again with replacement. I'm going to try to see if Easter P will overwrite any information in it, okay? All right. Yeah, I'm going to try it here. Let's see if it goes through, okay? So we're going to accept the plan. We're going to see if it, you know, if it really will do anything for us. Let me see if it checks it out for replacement and so on. Let me see. All right, it's telling you after replacement, um, adapted car key memory settings might not be restored automatically for a procedure. All right, interactive post programming can be initialized. You select blah blah blah. Okay, cool. Let us see if it is saying that the order number is that. It's, it's not seeing the right order number. You see, <laughs> the the order number the order number that Easter PC is is the one with um the zero a2 so it tells us to use this other number for the one for the light module that does not have the um the adaptive L light um electronics on the board i guess that's the reason why uh, um yeah. we're gonna click that and we're gonna click modification completed and see if it brings us into a continual loop of the same dialog box coming up if it does that continually for the next three to four steps we know that it's the p can't be fooled so right. Right. Yeah. um they make it right that you put the right variant to the car. Cause these these software is for the dealership guys. They can't make mistake with it. So they just oh, yeah. they make yeah. it that way for that way. That's idiot proof. Yeah. Man, this. Yeah, they, those guys don't. They don't have near the the technical. Uh, you know. Uh, the the. They, they don't have near the technical knowledge that you've got with it. You know what I mean? Oh, the dealer people? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I know yeah. that. I know that. Because I have a lot of time to play around. You know what I mean? And I don't work on their time. So I guess most of the guys are constricted on time into work. The dealership. Yeah, yeah you know. and they, they uh, you know, they're only going to do what they're told, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee if one of them... Went up to a service manager and said, hey, let me try this. <laughs> He's going to be like, no way, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yes, sir. No way. <laughs> you know, the thing is, we uh, we go through a school of hard knocks. I mean, you know, we stay late at night. We spend a lot of time in this stuff. Yeah. And, uh, 
and uh, and you know, and, and and here's the thing: they don't want to teach those guys, but so much anyway. Yeah. They don't want the, so much of this information getting out, you know. Yes, sir. That's very correct. Very correct. Wow, are we lucky or what? It checks the light model as green, so let us see if it's right the vehicle order. It's gonna also treat as a replacement follow. Oh shit, you see the loop? That's the second yeah. that's the first loop. Yeah. It's the first yeah. loop. I don't think it's gonna let you do it. I think it knows and uh <laughs> you know, and uh, it's looking for that port number. Yeah. Maybe it has something to do with the coding uh, being written in that particular part, you know? No man, it is doing it based off of the cash with it, vehicle order. The cash, the cash unit. Remember when I removed 524 from the, the vehicle order in NCS Express? Yeah, that's and, right. Yes, it is judging it based off of that. It is thinking that once 524 is not there, it sees the light model as having a hardware that's of. Incorrect. Okay. Yeah, it's incorrect. Okay. Yes, that light module is incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is seeing it as incorrect. Correct. Yeah. Uh, goes back to that, uh, the part number he wants to see. It's not going to let you do it. Yeah. Until he sees that other part number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. It's true. <laughs> well, yeah. I have to well, end this. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, you know, he's, he's going to save a little money, probably save, you know, probably with the headlights, but he's going to have to burn some of it with a cast module. I mean, a uh, light module. Yeah. Hey, what you? Hey, if 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 Easter P fail to do it, I'm gonna try to use Win KPT and try to do it, right? I'll see if it goes through. <laughs> Gosh. Woo. Yeah, it's uh, you know, he, he probably should just go ahead and buy the lights, but I mean, he says those things are a couple thousand bucks a piece. How much? I think he told me they're a couple thousand a piece. No, light model. For the the headlights, yeah. Oh, the headlights. Oh, headlight. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to cancel the plan. He's got, he's got a motor, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got a motor problem in the light. And okay. both lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so to, 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 so you can't replace the motor, you have to actually replace the whole headlight, right? Yeah, he's got to buy a whole headlight, yeah. How much, how much they say for it? I think he said they're like 18 or 1900 something bucks a piece. Woo, wait, I'm going to look in my ETK yeah. here, bro. I'm going to see if I, I find... Mean, yeah. I'm gonna look at ETK. How much the European? Um, how much Europe sell it for? Oh wait a minute. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna look how much Europe sell it for here. Adaptive headlights left, right xenon. I'm looking up the left one. Oh shit! It is one thousand one hundred forty-nine euros, man. Damn. It's yeah, that's right. More than that in American, then. What's American converted in that? That's more like a couple thousand, too. It's about $1,800. It's, yeah, it's yeah. about $1,800. Yeah, it's about $1,800. That's what he told me. It's $1,800 uh, or $1,900 bucks, is what he said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to see the adaptive headlight, the headlamps, without 524 option a part of it. I'm going to see how much for this one. Oh, this one scaled up to 974 euros. It's gonna take it over a thousand dollars in US dollars when I convert it at a dealership profit, you know? So about well, probably thirteen hundred. Yeah. Or uh, fourteen hundred. So um all right so far this thing failed. So um Alright, so remember remember the the, the the order number, right? Nine two three zero eight one is for the light model without adaptive red lights, okay? Yeah, I got that written down, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to end this session right now. I'm gonna end it, so Because the only way we're going to get the lights away from the combi and the check control messages in the CID is just to um, make sure that the com um, the CAS unit and the light model has the same vehicle order without adaptive red lights in it. Okay. Yeah, um, let me shut this down now. All right, that is free. All right, I'm going to try to see if we can reserve the, um, the item and then we can...
we can run Easter P to do a thing or two, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let me see if I can do this. I don't know. Uh, let me choose. I will choose um I will choose 081, right? And I will try to trick. I'll see if I can trick it. Yeah, 081's the one we wanted, yeah. That's yeah. right. Let me see if we can trick it. Um let me see if we can trick this damn thing. GM is that correct? Let me look on this to D here. CM50045. CM50045. Cool. All right. We're going to um update. All right. Let us see if we can be able to. Um, let me read the UIF block first. All right. It shows nothing here. It shows no VIN. Read out. The VIN is not read out on the light mode. It's blank. So I'm going to minimize that i'm going to um press done i'm going to press program let me see if it goes through all right we have a problem here it said the boot sector update not possible on this model wrong ecu order number see that yeah yeah yeah, yeah wrong ecu order number even we in kpt know this shit. the vin number all right it's looking for the one that starts with the adaptive headlights feature is 0 a2 you know what i mean yeah that's right yeah that is what it's looking yeah. for here um Comfort mode, choose ZB number. I'm going to go back and choose a ZB. Um, let me see if it will go through with... Um, I'm, I'm choosing, choosing that one too. What one with the two at the end? And let me see if it... Oh, the VIN number is there. So I'll put done. Let me see if it goes through. Same thing. Error 201. Check order number. He said wrong issue order number. 9116260. BCU. Boot sector update not possible. So it can't update the boot sector because of wrong order number. Let, yeah. me, let me close that Win KPT and start over again. Let me run input to set me get battery voltage and ignition. All right, cool. I get that. Let me um let me run this again. I mean this damn thing sensitive, bro. Can't be fooled. Yeah. Yeah. Can't fuck with this well. Because we can't we can't be fooled. Um we can't we can't this thing doesn't play around bro it's really or is um alright let me go down here uh, light module twenty six maybe I should look for nine eleven twenty six something let me look alright there's it there's a part number for it okay alright let me see if it should let me enter the VIN number let me see if it will program and and, and uh, make a difference. That's I think that's the right um, order number for it. Nine eleven sixty two sixty seventy GM five. That is it. One two three four five six seven. Let me see. Done. Let me see if it will go through with um. All right. Cool. Done. Let me see if it go through. All right, see, it, it said it said the user info field can still be a program one time. Let me see. Let me go through with it and see if it will. You will hear some little gong sound in the car as the light module being interacted with with the diagnosing system. Yeah, let's just blink. Yeah, let us see what will play out here. No programming. Don't touch nothing. It is it's not writing up that IPO file and that purity file. So. We got the assembly identification number right. So the LM the LM inside the car light model, what ISTAP determined for it is it's actually the wrong variant. So ISTAP won't even go through with it. Either you're just looking for the right number, you know? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, well it's something you can override in this program, right? Alright, tell you what, tell you what. Um the light module that has the part number at 081 that's the one that without adaptive LED light and, and so on and so forth so um i hope we get that one at easter p can program it you know what i mean because it yeah. is, uh, because that that module in order it does not come with the plugs are the, the electronics on board for um adaptive LED light so that one should be programmed by win kpt or by easter p you know what i mean all right, yeah. it's programming okay, so there's no fault here. And um, all right, that is finished. 
all right so let us click special here and click read uif let us see if the vin showed up here's the vin now the vin now is being read out by it you see now yeah 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 the vin is now read out by it and that's it so i mean you could save a little copy of this somewhere um light module zb and a vin change all right so light module all right boom so we save that there as a local report that we have done this verse all right we can um close out this right now all right we can um what is what, what what we should do now what we should do is to read this thing now um uh, let me run nc6 first again let me run this let me see if we can read out the fa from live module again let me see if we can code it i don't know if we can code it first of all um enter fa we're gonna choose process issue we're gonna choose um, right here that one we're gonna change job to um um well read fa execute job comes up with you say that function can be performed you know what i mean yeah. FA read cannot be done right here, so it's the same damn thing where choose ECU. Um, I mean, this mod is really can't be messed with, bro. <laughs> yeah, you can't swap them, and then again, the light model as well as the EGS they contain managed data. So, um, the light model doesn't show up here because I have to go back here. Uh, is it found in that? Oh, wow. See that? It's not there. You see that? Yeah, 5.24 is gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? I mean, let me, let me, let me see. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Let me, let me shut this shit down again and read it. <laughs> it's not there. Let me, let me, let me read out the LM again. Let me, let me see if I'm on the right track again. All right, enter FA. All right, see that? Yeah, five. Yeah. Five twenty-four yeah, is not there. Is yeah, because we we just write we just use WinKPT to write to it. So maybe the vehicle order has been copied from the CAS and overwrite it. Maybe that's what happened. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Start the car, man, and look if the lights are gone away. Okay. Oh, the code, oh, the, the, the error comes back up? Yeah, it just popped up in the, in the uh, instrument cluster. Yeah. Got a headlight with an arrow going to the right and the left, you know, where the motor test is, uh, yeah. looking for the motor test. Yeah. All right, we can't do anything more. Yeah, I'm, I, uh, I appreciate your time in it. I guess just give me something for your time here. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, buddy. No big deal, man. All right. You can send 126 to my PayPal. Do you have PayPal for me? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it the last time you set all this up for me. All right. So I appreciate the uh, right, agency wait. spending the time in it, man. And uh, do you think I should go ahead and try to find the light module or no? Yes, you can go ahead and find the light module. Yeah, you can go ahead and buy it. Yeah, you can buy it. Yeah, no big deal. Okay. Just buy it. All right. 
buy a used one first, or I don't know which one you could buy. The, buy the one yeah, where. I probably get a used one pretty cheap if I can find a number. Yeah, and yeah. On eBay. Yeah, yeah. Use the same part number, the one that ends with 081, okay? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, right. I'll do it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate all your time in this thing, man. All right, all right. Let me send. I'm gonna send you an email for PayPal. I maybe I have a different email. Okay, I'll send you a different email or PayPal. Okay. Yeah, I should have the same one. I had it in there, uh, but I'll. Uh, yeah, just send me what you got there, and then I'll. I'll. Uh, I'll get you paid up. Yes, sir. Thanks. I appreciate that. All right, I'll send it to oh. you. Um. Warren's Auto Repair 3717 at Gmail. Yeah, I send it. All right. I send it by text. Let's copy it and paste it, okay? Okay. All right. I'll do it. Hey, I appreciate it, Christopher. Yeah, every time, buddy. No problem, buddy. Uh, all right. Have a good night. All right, Warren. Take care now. All right. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay, YouTubers. All right, we finished working on this BMW E60 here. All right, we do replace the EJS and we change the VIN number in it using Insta P. We tell Insta P that we replace control model, then we select EJS and then Insta P um, treat it as a replacement follow up. The VIN number is changed and the part number is updated and so on. Okay, so we did it. And then the light module now there, the adaptive headlights on this car, the motor in the headlamps are not working, and the owner doesn't want to buy a pair of headlamps because they're pretty expensive. Okay. As you, we can see right here in um, in um, as we can see right here, adaptive headlights, um, with 522 Xenon lights. If we click right here, 524 for 524 adaptive lights, you can see that the price, this price um goes way up to actually 1,149 euros. Okay. All right. If we check no, no adaptive lights in it, and if we, we still click on one of these lights. It shows you that it's still near to 1,000 euro. All right, 974 right here. So usually when you convert this to USA dollars, it will be probably 1,200, 1,300, or probably 1,400, if not 1,500. The dealership want to make some money on it and so on. Okay. So this is what the, the, the owner don't want to buy because they are pretty expensive for both of them. All right. So thank you for viewing my channel, and uh, remember to subscribe to BMW Programming and Encoding channel on YouTube. Goodbye. I am out.